Hey everybody and welcome to another vlog. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, a welcome host. My name is Deja. On this channel, I focus on beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and bang that subscribe button. So if you're watching this, it is <coughs> Saturday, July 23rd. And uh, I'm quarantined. Yeah. That, that chula Rona finally caught up with me. She finally caught up with me and I'm quarantined. I can't believe it. Um, but nonetheless, I'm on the upswing. Um, I was officially, I started, my symptoms started on July 19th after I got back from uh, Tennessee. And it started to say with just a sore throat and a really bad headache. Um, I took a test that day, the home test, and the home test said negative. So I was like, okay, maybe I just have a flu or a cold or something coming on. Let me sit down. I'm hiding from Will because he be following me. Um, so it said negative and so I was like, okay, whatever. I just stayed home and relaxed because I could not get rid of that headache to save my life. And then so Wednesday, Wednesday morning, I woke up y'all about five o'clock in the morning. And like me, I like to be cold when I'm asleep. So I don't sleep with socks on. I'm dang near naked. Half of the, most of the time I am naked. And like I put my socks on, I had on my bathrobe and two blankets. And um, I was sleeping in a guest room on the air mattress. And I was just like, I cannot get comfortable. I was like, it's too cold in here. So I went to get up to come to my room because my room doesn't get as cold as the guest room. That room be freezing. And um, y'all, when I got up, uh, I almost fell multiple times. I was so weak. My head felt like it was about to explode. I had aches and chills and I had a fever. Now, I didn't have any Tylenol in the house, so all I had was ibuprofen. And so I stumbled to my room, I took ibuprofen, and then I laid down on my bed um, with my little fan on. Even though I was freezing cold, I still put it on anyway. Um, and so I woke up about 7.30 and I was sweaty, shirt drenched in sweat, so clearly I broke the fever. Um, but I was just like, dang, this is horrible. So I did another home test and that one came back positive. I was like, dang, I was like, wow. I avoided getting COVID this whole time and it caught up with me, but I already knew going to Nashville, I was like, I'm probably gonna get sick because one, it's a hot spot. And two, it was jam packed downtown every single day. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's where I got it from, but um, I notified my job, I went and got a PCR done on Wednesday, and they texted me our results actually yesterday, Friday, and of course it's positive. So um, my manager told me that I may have to sit out for 10 days, so I was supposed to go back to work on when, um, not Wednesday, Monday, this upcoming Monday. So she said what I need to do is um, <clears throat> take another test on Monday to see um, if I'm positive or not. If not, I can come back to work. Um, or if I'm asymptomatic and it's positive, I think she said I can come back to work, but I have to wear an N95 mask. But if I'm symptomatic, then I have to sit out a full 10 days, which means I wouldn't be going back to work until next weekend, which is kind of, kind of a bummer because I had an 18 day vacation and then you had another 10 days on top of that. I'm like, ah, that's like a whole month amount of work. <laughs> I'm ready to go back. So, um, <clears throat> We shall see what will happen um, here in the near future. So um, I'm just taking advantage of being at home. I still have just a few boxes to unpack. So I've been unpacking those boxes. I ordered some nightstands. I think I'm going to put them in the guest room. But I don't know when I'm going to get the bed and stuff for the guest room. So I may just utilize them in my room for now. Um, and I also bought some lamps and stuff. So I have to put together the bedside tables and whatnot. And yeah go from there but yeah that's why I've been absent because now I'm sick <laughs> but like I said I'm feeling a lot better once it was just the worst day like I had very mild shortness of breath um yep subsided like pretty quickly thank god um so yeah I'm on upswing then then the subsequent days I just had like a mild headache and a very sore throat Today was the first day that I woke up and my throat was actually okay. And like to help out, I've been drinking lemon ginger tea. That has been my saving grace through this whole thing as far as my throat and whatnot goes. It overall, it just helped me to feel better. So um, today was the first day I was like, okay, 
I did not lose smell. I did not lose taste. Um, but I will say I did not have an appetite whatsoever. So today was the first day I woke up and I was like, okay, maybe I'll actually have some oatmeal and some coffee. I took maybe four sips of coffee and of his skate four sips of coffee and um maybe five bites of oatmeal and i was like okay i'm full so i still don't have it completely back but it's definitely coming back my appetite um yeah that's pretty much it the headache is gone you know so i'm just hanging out at home so i'm gonna be putting together some stuff for the house and just tidying up a bit i do need to disinfect everything and you know once I start to get better, because I've been, oh, well, now that the bad stuff is going, I've been sneezing a lot. So, yeah, definitely have to disinfect everything. But that's what's been going on lately, y'all. But just want to open up, tell y'all what's going on, and hopefully I can get some good content today. I wish Wilbur would stop following me everywhere. Is this what I like to have a kid? Because Wilbur would be up my behind. Like, literally, when I left out of that room, he was asleep. I snuck out, and now all of a sudden, here he go. Anyway, I'll be back. Ugh, the light is horrible. Sorry about that. So yeah, I'm in my beauty room slash office right now. Um, I just wrote a letter to my cousin. So I need to put this in the envelope and fill it out. And hopefully my mom has some stamps, because I don't have any stamps at all. No, but yeah, that's been on my list of things to do for a minute now. So write him a letter. So I finally did that. Why not? Here come Wilbur. I want to get this sent off as soon as possible. Now because I was supposed to have gotten this out like weeks ago. So. The sooner I get this in the mail, the better. Okay, so I'm gonna take this up front. Uh, this light is bad. And get ready and fill this out. I'm munching on this cookie. It's like an oatmeal, cranberry, pecan cookie from Jason's Deli. Much mm -hmm. more. But I'm about to put together these nightstands. I was on Amazon and these end tables happen to pop up and I like them because they are very, very simple, neutral tone and um, that's what kind of the vibe that I'm going for for my guest room. Um, so, how much was these? So for a set of two, this is the bamboo stackable end table and I paid $52.66 for these table so we're about to put these together best box i have in my house better i honestly do not know what happened to my box cut it's driving me up the wall because it came as a set and it's pink and black so yo I set it up like that because I wanted to get the nails a bit straighter in there. That first one that I put in was a little bit crooked. So, I'm just gonna continue working on these until I get this the one I want to do. Don't tell me that's supposed to be on the outside. That's supposed to be on the outside. So I have to unscrew this because holes are here on the inside and that's where the legs are supposed to attach to so let me undo this i'll come back to y'all in a minute okay y'all so this is how it's looking so far without the legs on I, this is very simple and cute i'm actually i'm really loving the way this is looking i think it's gonna be perfect so i'm gonna get ready to put the legs on and then put the other one together Holes don't line up. Oh my God, come on. Jesus, take the wheel. 
I guess this one is supposed to go on here. That shit just pissed me off. I'm so mad. Ugh. Okay, y'all, this is little as hell. <laughs> so that means the bed probably is going to have to be low, which actually I was thinking of having it low anyway. I didn't want to hide that in the guest room, but it is sitting there. I'm gonna sit y'all down. All right, and um, I'm trying to give y'all like a good idea. So y'all are sitting, the tripod, my little mini tripod is pulled all the way up. That's how tall it is. Um, so yeah, well, I'm still not mad at it. I think it's really cute, very simple. Um, just what I need. So I'm gonna put this other one together. And then I'm gonna show you guys the lamp that I bought. They're right there in that box. Um, I'm gonna put those on top, but I don't think I'm gonna put it in the guest room. It might go in my room temporarily because I don't have nightstands. And there's no bed in the guest room. And ain't no guest room gonna be in that room for a minute, so. Maybe I should use it. We shall see. Okay, so I'm done. Um, I'm sitting down. Look how tall these are. <laughs> I can sit here and do my homework. I can sit here and eat. <laughs> Let me sit y'all up on the other one. Hold on. I'm just the girl who's here at her desk. I mean, literally, this is perfect for sitting on the floor. But like I said, I don't plan on having the bed high. Like if I take the box frame off of my um, bed frame right now in my room, it'll be the perfect height for my front bed because the bed sits really low. But um, yeah, the room in that bed probably is gonna be really low. But I gotta think about that too because my guests who are older, should I say, I don't know if that'll be comfortable for them getting down to that level and getting up. So I need to rethink this. Um, I still do like the nightstands. They're cute, they're simple. Oh, let me grab the, uh, the lamps. Okay, so the lamps that I got came from Amazon as well. They came with a light bulb, so I like that. And then here's the stand. And it comes with an LED light too, which I really like. Light bulb. Again, it just sits on top. Look how cute that is. Look how cute. And I guess you're supposed to be able to touch it and adjust the light. I'm gonna plug it in here in a second. Oh yes, so tapping it, adjust the light. Look how nice this is, y'all. I love this. This is gonna be so cute. Cute. And what's that, a USB port in the front? So it comes with two USB ports. It is pretty sensitive, I will say that. But I love this. Oh, I love this. Maybe he's going to my room, maybe he won't. Hey y'all, so I ended up not picking the camera up again yesterday. I was kind of just lounging around the house. So it's almost one o'clock. Um, I didn't pick up the camera this morning. Monique and I went for a walk down the trail. We walked all the way to downtown Dunedin. It's like two and a half hours. So I just got home. I'm about to shower really quick. And um, yeah, she wants to hang out a little bit, despite the obvious. Um, so probably gonna hang out, but I'm gonna go hop in the shower, clean up. Girl, super sweaty, but it felt good to just be outside and just walk and not be cooped up in the house. So let me go get cleaned up. Hey y'all, don't judge me, but yes, I'm at the aquarium with Moni because she drunk me out here. So yeah.
Hey y'all, I'm home. Um, I got this new outfit. It was like, as soon as I seen it, I had to have it. Um, so I'm gonna try this outfit on a little bit. Hold on. Okay y'all, this is what this outfit looking like. I still got all my skins underneath. I definitely could have gotten this in a size small, but I got it in a medium just because I wasn't too sure when I was looking at the model on the website. Um, she was a petite girl and I was like, I know I said it has stretch, which it definitely does have stretch. The pants stretch, so I could have gotten this in a size small, but however, I might just end up going to get it taken in just a little bit and it would be just fine. Don't know where I'm wearing this to just yet, but I had to have it, so. I have it. Oh, ow. It's really cute. Real cute. Okay. Okay, so I was just trying to get stuff done for work. I need forms and everything for now. And filled out a lot of position before I return back to work. But they need me to have my manager on the phone that she could verify, I guess, my information that I work there and stuff. But I don't know what she's doing, so I just called up to the job to try to talk to my manager. She's not in her office. So now I just have to wait. Her to call me back so we can three-way this number or whatever it is. And, um, yeah. So I can verify so that I can go back to work soon. So, yeah, we got to three-way the service desk. So I guess in the meantime... I am going to hook up my hoses, my washer and dryer. Ooh, did I tell y'all that I bought an iPad for $56 yesterday? I wonder if I can go pick it up. So when I bought my washer and dryer, I got this $90 reward certificate. Um, I guess that came with me buying the um, extended protection or whatever, whatever. And then I had a $200 gift card from Best Buy. I'm not sure what that came from. Maybe that's when I bought my sister, my sister's iPad. But anyway, I took and applied that $290 towards my iPad and all the left remaining balance was $56. Boom. So I paid $56 for um, an iPad. So I'm trying to see when I can pick that up. I'm not sure. But yeah. I'm happy about that. Uh, it won't be available for pickup until Friday. Can I have them ship it? I think I'm gonna change this to ship it because I work Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it won't be, it will depend on what time they close. I could always stop by on my way home. What time is this by close? Hours of operation. They close at 7 p.m. So yeah, I might end up shipping this to my house just so I can have it. I'm gonna get ready and hook up these hoes and stuff so I can actually do laundry at home. I'm happy about that. Get my laundry room. Can't be moving. Guess this is cold. This one is hot. What a cold one. I guess this is a cold one. Why is it so short? And this one is Oh, this ain't gonna work. Oh, Lord, help me. I'm not sure which one is hot and which one is cold. And I'm not trying to find out. Alright, so... I'm guessing the one on the right is the cold water. It says, remove the washer fill holes from the cold water supply. Attach the short holes to the water supply valve, then to attach the wire connector. The white connector. Make sure the connection is tight. Alright. Connect the other end in a six foot fill hole supplies. And at the end of the day, we still didn't get that figured out. So, um, for my account, um, but talking to my manager, I do have to stay the full 10, 10 days out of work. So I will be returning back to work on Saturday instead of Friday as previously intended. Um, not to worry though, my recruiter did send me um, some information for workers comp, which I, I'm really happy that we have. So at least I can get compensated for the days that I um, was not at work. Um, so yeah, I'll be all right. 
So I'm just going to do this now. Follow my instructions. Wilbur, get out. 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 Okay, connect the other end of the six foot. Fill hole supply with this kit to the steam dryer and fasten by hand. Oh my god, this washer's heavy. <gasps> Stuff got complicated, so um, I ain't get down with that. Do you still want me to come over? Hootie said he was gonna come over tomorrow and do it. You wanna wait till then? Uh, I guess I can. All right, it's up to you. Yeah, I guess I can wait. Hey y'all, it's the next day and it looks a lot later than what it is because it's about to storm right now so it's dark outside. It's only 3. Yeah, it's 3.04 currently. Um, My brother did come over today and he did my washer and dryer for me so I pray that everything is hooked up accordingly. I look like this because I did just get back from a walk with my sister. So right now I'm about to do some laundry, get my new washer to test, y'all. All right, this <laughs> I don't know why. this Okay, so it's my first time washing laundry with my new washer dryer, so I'm nervous. I'm about to do my first load of laundry with my new washer dryer. Hey y'all, um, I'm not even sure where I left off with you guys last, but it's definitely a few days later. Oh, so y'all, I finally, 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 finally got me a drill. So I have to make sure I read up on how to work this because I need to mount those shelves and stuff today. But yeah, I got me a drill off Amazon. It is here, she's pink and black. Oh, so cute, but. Before I, do, before I do all of that, I think I'm about to sit and edit a video, so I'm about to make myself a cup of coffee because it is Thursday and I do need to upload a video today. I'm trying to be, you know, get back into my routine. If you guys don't know, my previous routine was Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday to upload videos. So it's Thursday. I think I have one more video. I need to, well, I think I have two um, that I can edit. So I'm about to get ready and edit a video first, make me some coffee. Um, Mount the shelves. I do have to run to Best Buy to pick up my iPad. It finally came in. And um, it's 8.30 right now. They open at 10 o'clock. So by the time I get that done, they, yeah, I'll definitely be in the time frame. I'm gonna go walk and work out with my sister today. And then I have something else that I need to work on. So yeah, let me just go ahead and get started. Let me make me a coffee so I can go ahead and get to this video. Nothing about nothing, the hidden thing. User math. And you got a whole drill and you don't understand it. I do. Once we get this, what what do we do now? They should tell us. Oh. If once we find the turn the sleeve counterclockwise to open the chuck jaws. Put the bit in the chuck as far as it will go. Turn sleeve counterclock. Oh, to remove it. Okay. Okay, we got that far then. And then what we do we adjust the adjusting ring to the proper torque level for your work. We're gonna leave it on one. Mm -hmm. Make sure that the driver bit is inserted straight into a screw head or the screw in our bit may be damaged. This is so much more difficult than what I thought. <laughs> Y'all should have seen us earlier. 
We was in here fighting with the washer. The washer, there's a, uh, oh, y'all. I have to put in another maintenance request because the pipe that drained the water from the washer is dry rotted and all the water leaked out where? All into my floor. Had to use all my clean towels and stuff to get it up. So aggravated. So I'm just sitting here with my mama. Champagne, who's just 